What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Welcome to Lake Watery in South Carolina. We're in like North Central South Carolina with some awesome new friends that I met via social media. I put an email out and I put some things on Instagram that I was looking for somewhere to go turkey hunting. Y'all, just wait till you meet these people. They're some of the nicest people we've met in a long time. They said, come up. And not only do they have turkeys, but they got this awesome dock on Lake Watery and we have been wrecking some catfish. Just look at the one Miles caught just a second ago. He's going out. <laughs> what we got? You got, I mean, you got something that big? I better reel your rod out of the way. He's going to you. You're right. Oh, He's coming to the bank now. All right, here, I'll reel him in. <laughs> I don't know how to take the clicker off. What do you have? He's trying to get you guys in close. Y'all, we ain't been here but about an hour and we already got a bucket of fish. Ooh, Arkansas a, blue right here. Nice yep. oh, oh my goodness! We're gonna have to take him to the bank. We're gonna have to take him to the bank. Walk him right down. You ain't gonna break that line. You got oh my goodness! I bet he's 15 pounds. 18 yeah. pounds. Y'all yeah. don't judge my outfit. <laughs> Can on, you hold this rod? Yeah. Thank you. This is what Shiver wanted, too. He's going to be mad when he's leaving. Dang! What do you got? We didn't even lose our bait. Oh, wrong way, buddy. Wrong way. Is he on there? <laughs> I can see the line running. You better get him. I don't think you got it. Ugh. Oh, that's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because the clicker. Crystal. Yes, sir. How come every time I rig a rod, you take it? Oh my gosh. Every time. Oh my gosh. I caught one crappie, she stole my crappie rod. Then me and Miles caught a gigantic catfish, she stole my catfish rod. <laughs> All right, y'all, Mr. Stacy Baker, his son Miles, and his buddy Shiver. Funny thing about Shiver, that's my mom's maiden name. That was my grandpa's last name on my mother's side. Hence the reason why it's her maiden name. And this is Lake Watery. He's got some PVC pipes down there. If you watch this video, don't be coming over here fishing his dock either. This is our little honey hole. We've been fishing for about an hour. We've caught two crappie. Who Y'all just catch another catfish while I was gone? We did. Yeah. Who did? Mm -hmm. Stacy did. I guess we got two catfish and two crappie. We're gonna fish for another couple hours and Crystal's gonna go back turkey hunting. I might even go back turkey hunting, but I'm scared because if I kill a turkey before her, I gotta sleep on the front porch and I don't wanna have to do that because it's gonna be cold tonight. If she does kill a turkey tonight, me and Miles and Shiver and Stacy are raging war on them in the morning. After we leave here, we're headed to Georgia to turkey hunt another place. Then we gotta get back to the house to get to boys. Right now, we're still fishing. Hopefully we can catch one bigger than Miles caught just a minute ago because that was a good one. And I never expected to catch a big catfish in the middle of the day, but we did. Stacy. You cannot catch one with your bait hanging off the end of your rod. <laughs> what are you waiting for me for to tell I you to cast? I was waiting on Miles to throw it. He can throw it better. Miles, than tell him. You can't catch nothing with your bait just hanging. Here. They told me a minute ago there was a honey hole right over there. My first cast over there, we caught that big one. I'm, I'm going to be swinging it from where you're standing. Let it rip, Tater Chip. Good cast. I'm always so anal about people making noises and I stepped on this dock as he casted. Yeah, blame that on me. Where is he going? To the bank? Come on, buddy. I like this kind of fishing. No motors to break down, no gas to spin. And the fish are botting. They're definitely, I would have never thought they'd bit this good in the middle of the day. Where's my it, landing net? It just feels wrong that we don't have any limb line set. We might have to set a limb line off the dock tonight. 
Maybe we'll catch a flathead at night. What happened to that huge crappie you had earlier with no net? He done came off. You got plenty of line there, so just reel down and swing him up here. You ready? This is ready a big old... You can be able to do that? Oh! No, he did not! She just lost him! No, you did that not! That's number two you I lost! A giant crappie right at the top of the water, and then I'll lose a mediocre catfish right on top of the water. Listen, I got bad news for you. Oh. You can't eat fish that come off and swim back away. Look at all that catfish slime. See it? Oh, it's nasty. Yeah, gum it. You might be eating a McDonald's fish au filet if you keep this up. Right back in the honey hole. Fish on, baby. This thing feels big. It's either big or hung up. Gabe's out here in the kayak. Look, I never in my life thought Gabe would be in a boat without a motor on it. Listen. I don't think this thing knows he's hooked yet. What in the heck? This thing feels big. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. Nice. Wait a minute. He's, he's wrapped. He's wrapped. But he's, he's still wrapped. nice. That is a good catfish. Oh yeah. Do yeah. not come off. Lord, please don't come off. You want to walk him in? Should I dock flip him or walk him in? I'd walk him in. He's big. He, Gabe said dock flip him <laughs> as I break his rod. Alright. He hooked good. Yeah, he is. You want me to just pull him up? What do you think? Dude, I'll just hand pull him up. Oh, use the rod. Use the rod. Nice. We got him. I hear you. Nice job. <laughs> Where are we at? Lake Watery? This is a good looking lake watery blue catfish. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him, Gabe. <laughs> it's a big old big one. We're gonna throw him back. You ready, buddy? Should I kiss him? Go ahead. <sighs> <laughs> that was <a> block. <laughs> he was. Gabriel. What are you doing? Y'all, you, you don't have no idea how much money I just saved in fuel. <laughs> I'm gonna get one of these right here. Me and Crystal will take it offshore. Offshore. Fancy sweatpants I got with my EFC socks. I didn't. I didn't almost capsize nothing. Y'all check them bad boys out. Everglades Fishing Company, CO.com. Look at that. I mean, just look at it. Dang. You're styling. I like this kayak. I've got plain Hanes white socks from Walmart with Crocs on. I got overruled on the catfishing. Crystal says it's time to go turkey hunting. So we might take her to the woods and drop her off and let her turkey hunt and we come back and catfish. We got to eat before you go hunting. We do need a snack. Honey bun? And honey bun. I would like some chocolate and some boiled peanuts. Are you going to take a nap? No nap. They had really good looking boiled peanuts at the, where I got you that Let's biscuit. Let's go there. Let's go there. Leave a comment below if you ever eat boiled peanuts. If you've ever had them. And do you like the Cajun or regular? If you haven't ever had boiled peanuts, I don't know what to tell you, but you're missing out. We're down here in South Carolina. Been turkey hunting with no luck. Just spotted a giant gobbler in this field up here. Gabe got out with this strutter. Took him a little while, but got that gobbler fired up and he just shot. Oh my goodness, I thought you didn't have a turkey for a second. <laughs> Atta boy! <laughs> yeah, there's a creek here. How'd it go? <laughs> you got him. <laughs> so 
South Carolina swamp gobbler, folks. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know what to tell you other than I never seem to be able to film a good turkey hunt. That bird that you just saw will probably go in top 10 of my most favorite hunts ever, and I didn't get one ounce of it on film. Just my luck. Leave a comment below if you can tell me what kind of bird that is. Listen to him. Every time I'm up here, South Carolina, Missouri, Kentucky, I hear that bird this time of the year and I've never seen one. I've been standing there for 20 minutes looking for that bird and I don't know where the heck it is, but it never stops whistling. Where'd you find redneck? <laughs> Look at this dog. Y'all, this is a fat redneck it's with like a tail. redneck, but gained some weight. Yeah. <laughs> Look how big he is. What are you doing? So if He's you all so follow sweet. along, I have a little Jack Russell that's just exactly like him, but skinnier and no I mean, tail. He's, he's thick, boy. Thick, boy. <laughs> He's and, mad. <laughs> and they're the exact same age too. They're both right at nine years old. So we came to Stacy's dad's house, Mr. J's. He said he has a collection and he wants to show us. And he's also got a really nice dock that he said we can catfish on. I think Jay and I caught every catfish that lives anywhere near his house this morning. We filled a cooler full of them, folks. A cooler. While this one took a nap. She, been she hard had, out at turkey hunting. She had to get her some beauty. <laughs> oh, she had to get her some beauty sleep. Hey, we wore them out, didn't we? We did. We wore them out, folks. All right, Mr. J, what do you want to show us? I got a few knives and a few airheads. Airheads and knives. Man, those are nice. My son Luke would want to hijack all these big ones. <laughs> this knife came from somewhere below Russia. I can't think of the name of the country. Uh, a friend of mine that did some painting for us gave me that knife somebody gave to him it looks it, like it's got deer horn as the i don't know where what country it came handle. from i can't remember well you could shank a hog with this one right here mm -hmm. this one uh let's see where is it at that was my survival knife in vietnam your yeah. knife that you actually used in vietnam yeah well I that's pretty dang interesting right there he yeah. said this knife right here right I know the glare is bad, but just got to deal with it. That's the knife he used in Vietnam. Yeah. Was... John Deere's. Mm -hmm. That's pretty neat. Where are the arrowheads? I heard you had arrowheads. That's That was my great, great granddaddy's pistol. Uh, 32 breakdown. Huh. It was nickel plated. You see the nickel on it? It's, it wore it off in his back pocket. Dang. And my granddaddy gave me that. It made it in 19, I mean, 18, no, 18, 1895. 1895. Yeah. Dang, what an arrowhead collection. Did you win all these yourself? Don't lie. <laughs> no, I found them. Now, your boy, Stacy, said that when he was young, you'd take him out and make him look for him. Mm -hmm. That sounds like fun to me. Mm -hmm. Where did you get that from? I bought that. Man, that's neat. I bought that and that pie. This, 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 this right here was a sharpening stone. See where they sharpen yeah. their arrowheads? It's on around like that. They fit right in their hand. I've got a real good friend who was an archaeologist. Uh, she's a lady. She's retired now from the University of South Carolina. She was an archaeologist. She said that's very rare to find a sharpness stone like that. That's pretty neat. Let this me give him a skin. Is that a fish hook? Yeah, fish hook. Stone fish hook. Let's take it out and catch a catfish with it. <laughs> I don't think we can catch with that. <laughs> a fish hook. Mm -hmm. That's so neat. I love me some arrowheads. Look at that. There's a that was a big old point there. Mm -hmm. There's some bigger ones up here. Leave a comment below if you love arrowheads and old stuff like that. I dang sure do. I love arrowheads. Let's go catch a catfish. I like arrowheads. Very, very, very rarely do I ever get to fish off of a dock and not have the stress of a boat. I've been fishing off a dock for two days and I love it. Three days later. Listen, folks, these South Carolina turkeys, they don't play no games. It's time for us to head back to Georgia. But before we go, I'm gonna show you the little cabin we've been staying in. And I wanna show you what the red clay looks like on this truck. I don't know why, but that color combo looks good to me. Beachy. No. Use soap. Okay. <laughs> She's headed in the shower. We're planning on leaving here at noon. So we can be to a farm that we got invited to hunt at about 4.30 
in South Central Georgia. This is our little cabin we rented right here on the lake. Really affordable, super nice. Got a beautiful little patio. This lake has been good to us. We have flat wore out the catfish. Stacy and Amanda's house is just right over there about six docks away. I want to show you all this truck that we've been looking at. I need to get me one of these. Looks like they just used it to put their boat in and out of the water, but that thing is cool looking. Look at that. That thing right there is sharp. Crystal said, I want me one of them. Look at that bad boy. This lake is super beautiful. You got all these guys crappie fishing right here. I guess right about where all these boats are, there must be a drop off because they've all been staying in sort of the same area. They call them crappie here. We call them specks at home, but in a lot of my videos where you see me catching them, I call them crappie too, because that's probably the most common name. There's a pile of people fishing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six boats just right here. All right, South Carolina, that's a wrap. Next stop, South Georgia. Then we'll be headed home. I think I'm gonna film for like the next four days. I've got a video going up already this coming Monday, a blue crab video. If you haven't watched it, you need to watch it. It's probably one of my best crabbing videos yet. And I cook the best crab oil I have ever ate in that video. One last look at the cabin. Four and a half hours to our next destination. Here's the scoop, you guys. We done traveled from South Carolina all over the state of Georgia, spent all of our money on gas. We hear some big bullfrogs. Listen, listen, hold still, babe, listen. Y'all hear those frogs? Yes, I do. Crystal Beachy's up to bat with the 22. Let's go get one, folks. Come on, it's gonna be dark for a second, but this is gonna be well worth the ride. See his eye glowing right on the bank? He's on the bank? Yeah, see, you don't see that eye? Hold on. Right off there, right there. Goodness. Do we smoke you? Did we get him? <laughs> You guy, you guy, holding what? We heart shot him. I mean, a giant. We I need mean, two more for dinner. He's dead in a doornail. Dead. We've had a rough day. We're doing what we got to do to get dinner, but it's actually not going to be dinner. It's going to be lunch tomorrow. We need to get two more. Hopefully, we can get them. He is massive. Get him. Oh. Is he done? It don't get no more fun than that. Huge. We need one more. One more? Yep. I just found the biggest one yet. A monster. A monster. A He's a magnum. Come Can on. I shoot him? No, you're on a lucky streak. Come on. He just blinked right in the middle of the light. Golly, you got him. Giant. Oh my lord. That is a stud. Put your foot by him. Here's my hand. Goodness gracious. I have been walking around in briars barefooted that are so bad. Yeah, and it's pretty cold out here too. Like, yeah. you're gonna be sick for sure. I'm ready. Let's rip. Good job, Gabe. Good spot. <laughs> <laughs> We're grown adults. <laughs> it's probably what time I'm is like it? Kids. Eleven fourteen at night. We left South Carolina this morning at eleven o'clock, or right at twelve o'clock. 12 hours later, we got dinner. <laughs> it's been a long day. All right, we're going to get some shut eye. We'll wake up in the morning, cook breakfast, clean these frogs, then we're going to fry some up for lunch. Now, I know that footage isn't great. It's dark out. Soon, we're going to do a video just like that, but with really good light so you'll be able to see everything. Well, good morning, everybody. We got some frogs to cook. 
but I got something else for you to see. This morning, I got up and I went in the turkey woods. This is gonna be short and fast, because I know not everybody likes turkey hunting. I sat up on a gobbler that Crystal found yesterday afternoon. She hunted with Brad today. Brad Yeoman, y'all know who he is. She went with him down in the river swamp. I went after this bird. Watch this quick little hunt, and then let me show him to you, because he's a bona fide giant. It's all done, folks. Look at the spurs on this bad boy. I mean, just straight up giant. Crazy thing is, is he's dark winged like an Osceola. Got a big old beard on him. But you want to see something else good? We got breakfast. A cooking. <laughs> Almost ready. You hear some birds this morning? A few. What'd you say, four? I think we had four or so. Were the mosquitoes bad? They were horrible. <laughs> Down here in the Georgia swamp this time of the year, the mosquitoes can be so bad. We have these things called thermosails, and I turned mine on when I left the house. I put it in my turkey vest, and it was cooking hot when I got there, so I wasn't ate up mosquitoes that bad. And the hunt didn't take long. I was done by 7.02 in the morning. So Tommy and TJ set lines yesterday. I set lines. We went and pulled all of them this morning. I met JT, not TJ. Our good buddy TJ lives over there, and then JT. Why you got to name your boy a confusing name? Two letters. Yeah. It's JT, folks. JT. By now, most of you are probably wondering, what in the heck are we watching? You guys are getting to watch about four days of our life unplanned. We didn't even know we were going to South Carolina until the day before we went. Stayed there three nights, two days. Then we were going to go to a couple other places in Georgia. Scratch that after we didn't find no turkeys. Then we came here to fish camp. Didn't know we were going to do some catfishing. We did that. Had no idea I'd find a turkey around here. Got me one of them. Now we're pulling the boat out of the water. We're going to clean the turkey, clean some frogs, clean up camp, and head home, pick the boys up, and cook them a frog leg dinner. Crystal just made us such a good breakfast. We're all too full to eat again anytime soon. That was a good breakfast. You got that right. I love coming here watching this river drop. Three videos ago here, the water was up there. Two weeks ago's video was the water was right there. Now y'all can see, it's right there. It came in hot like a wrecking ball. If you want to keep one, we'll keep one, but I keep that one. This is the debate of the morning, folks. Do we want to keep one or do we not want to keep one? We'll Son, keep you're going to regret jumping like that when you're about 40. Yes. Big old big one. You turning that one loose? Mm-hmm. How come everybody always picks on the flatheads? Y'all always want to keep them. Got a hook steel in him. Yeah, we had to cut them out of here. Flatheads over here. Yeah, this is a good eating size right here. Nice little flathead. That's a good dinner for three. Okay. All right, well, we finally made it back to Stewart, Florida, our hometown. And my kid Luke's got something that I need to talk to you about. Dad, there's feathers flying Go. everywhere. Oh. It fell off. <laughs> it fell. Pop it. All right, fine. It doesn't have a... 
that it doesn't have the popping tip on it. All right, folks at home, a fan sent us this bull whip about a year ago, and we've been popping it so much that the little whip part has actually broke and fell off. If that was you, please leave a comment below and tell us how to fix it. I've tried to put more rope on there, and I can't get it right. Luke's just learned how to pop one. His brother Trey showed him. I've always been able to pop one, but our little poppers fall off. Uh oh, he's going for the speed approach. <laughs> you better stick to bass fishing. There's more feathers in there. You almost oh, did the, it. The whip part is up all the way around. <laughs> Dad, the so whipping part went over me. Why you got your tongue out of your mouth? Because I'm, I'm like, shh. So you go like, so you go <laughs> this, and then you go the opposite direction, and then you go back up? Yeah, there's the whipper. All right, that's a good try. If y'all notice something missing, whoa, 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 whoa. If y'all notice something missing, the contender is not there. Because yet again, it's in the shop. <sighs> Tom Katz, my good friend that owns Blind Date Charters, finally took it to his house and hopefully, fingers crossed, he can get the bugs that I've been fighting with completely gone. Like that boat has given me a fit. What's that? Look, that's... have you ever seen frogs that big? Dang. Actually, you have because you caught one last weekend in Georgia, remember? Crystal shot those, though. Oh, that time that we went there was kind of a rare time because we saw, what's that big fish called? I don't know. I forgot the name of it, That like that big, big fish that we saw. Where did we see it at? The, in the river whenever we were driving. Oh, a sturgeon. Oh, we saw we... a sturgeon and a bullfrog, and we've never seen those there. Well, we have seen the bullfrogs. And we actually have seen sturgeon, he just hasn't. The Automobile Hall River where we're at is loaded with huge sturgeon. Believe it or not, South Georgia, sort of milky, cloudy, hot, flowing water, full of sturgeons. So these are the frogs. These are so big, they're so much bigger than our frogs, I'm actually gonna cut them up into smaller pieces. And this is half of a turkey breast from the turkey you watched me kill. I'm gonna get it prepared too. Now that we got it in more manageable pieces, we're gonna hit it with some of this Lowry's garlic salt. The breading I'm gonna use is this medium hot house Audrey's. I'm almost out of my favorite seasoning, folks. And now this is Jake's favorite seasoning. It's all he eats. He puts it on his eggs, his toast, his cereal. He puts it everything. It's just simple, folks. Take them, put them in a bag full of your favorite breading. Shake them all about. Now normally on our frogs here in Florida, we eat the feet, but these feet are as big as my favorite monkey in Tennessee, Bear. Yeah. <laughs> That's hot, Bear. <laughs> <laughs> what is it doing? Better waste your food. <laughs> oh damn, the food went. <laughs> there. Oh man, sorry about the butt crack. I wasn't expecting that. All right, this just got a lot more difficult what are you doing? <laughs> I didn't even notice that the squirrel was gone. He's got the same size feet. I can't eat those. That's a, that'd be a sin. So I like to actually leave it in the batter for about two or three minutes, let it soak up as much as possible. While this is sitting here, I'm gonna go ahead and prep this turkey. Just clean my cutting board. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Turkey meat is so overrated. Everybody thinks you need to cut it up in chunks and fry it. And we're probably gonna fry a little bit in this video, but the next turkey video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to do a turkey stir fry that will knock your socks off, folks. It's that easy. That meat's now prepped. Look how good that looks. Completely organic, too. The only thing this thing's been eating is bugs and acorns. A very, very important part of frying food is having your grease at 350 to 360 degrees. And don't overcook it. Look at the front shoulders, the front arms on that thing. He was a bodybuilder. Ooh, it's gonna be good. 12 seconds later. So while we're waiting on all the frog and the turkey to get done, 
These are just little red potatoes and some onions. I'm gonna show you how to make something that's super easy. Anybody can do it, your kids can do it, and it will be so good. Some of this right here, bread dip, like you get at an Italian restaurant, go heavy with it. Trust me, kids, y'all watching that think, oh, that's no good, it's good. Let me use the last little bit of my Lowry's garlic salt. About that much right there. Maybe a little bit more olive oil on the top. Now watch what I'm gonna do with it, folks. Don't judge my drawer right here. Take a spoon and stir it all up. That's why you go heavy with the seasoning. You want it to stick really well. Now come over here to the air fryer. Hit power, hit play. Ramp up the temperature to about 390 and it'll take 10 minutes. Those will be some of the best potatoes and onions you ever eat. Thank you, dear God, for this day. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you for this wonderful food and Please help it to nourish our bodies, and thank you for letting us be able to shoot the turkey, catch the frogs. Please help this food to be good, and please help everyone who needs your help. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Look who blessed us with their presence. Hi, y'all. Let me see them toes. I'm putting you on the spot right now. Holy moly, we went pink or cream or peach. It's peach. Peach. It's peach. Did I say it right? You didn't get your nails done? Heck no, I hate my nails being painted, but a pedicure is, is a good way to go. Did you come home to a nice quality meal? Mm -hmm, looks great. Babe, I'm going to give you a 10 out of 10 of shooting frogs. Yeah? Because I went back the next night while you were sleeping and I missed. You did? Yep. I, I, at that range? Listen, let's just not talk about it. I killed the turkey though. You killed a turkey. Mm -hmm. Now here's the question of the day. Can Jake do this without making a mess? Boom. I miss sitting down to a table being made like this and eating. Yeah, we can do it more often. Luke's going in for the taters. Taters time. There's Redneck, folks. Everybody's been asking where he's at. Our neighbor who painted this picture of Redneck keeps him while we're traveling. Redneck, where's the squirrel? Where's that squirrel? You see, where's that squirrel? You see a squirrel? One thing I want you guys to do right now is leave a comment below. What would you want to eat first? The beans, the frog legs, the turkey, or the potatoes? Which one? If, if we weren't here filming, Crystal, which one would you bite into first? If we weren't filming, well, we just like filming. if you. But if you just sat down at this table, which one would you eat first? Yeah, I think we should just take a bite of this frog. Potatoes. They're good? Oh, yeah. Babe, I found something that Jake's not good at. What's that? Popping a bullwhip. <laughs> there ain't a cow on this planet that'd be scared of him with a bullwhip in his hand. <laughs> Is the turkey good, Luke? Mm-hmm. How's that frog? That's as I'm big as a chicken leg. Eating a frog butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> for me, I almost will always go for these potatoes. They are my favorite thing ever. Man, they're good. But these frog legs, our, the toes on our bullfrog legs are a lot smaller. These are going to be hard to eat. But the meat, oh yeah. Well worth walking in the briars, I can tell you that. What you couldn't see on film is Crystal and I didn't just bang, 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 shoot some frogs. We actually walked around about a five acre pond in the dark with only one little flashlight and she had her cell phone flashlight in the briars. If you don't know what a briar is, Google them. We're bad. And I was yeah. barefooted and she was in Crocs. I don't know why you're saying that there's briars in there. I've been walking around that old pond every time that I go and don't even see a single briar. I guess it's just briar season. Is he being a sissy? Probably. Okay, the next episode of Blue Gabe in Georgia, I'm going to film you walking around that pond. We're going to see. I don't think you want to do that, really. Another big news. This is a big, big announcement. Jake, Everett Arrington just got his second sponsor today. Not only does NLBN sponsor him now, so does Fitzgerald Fishing. Oh, yeah. If you guys follow along, a lot of the spinning rods you see, including the big spinning rods that we catch all the fish in the ocean with, 
and all the bass rods that we use are Fitz Gerald Fishing. The link will be in the description below. Check him out. He makes some of the best bass fishing rods and reels. And he just came out with a bait caster a little while ago. He sent me one of them. Anybody can throw it and throw it a long way. So check out Fitz Gerald Fishing. Blue Gabe, what is on huh. your face right now? What are you now? doing with the camera out? <laughs> you guys, I don't know what to tell you. Over the last like six to eight months, I edit for a living and I don't need glasses to edit and the computer's right there in front of me But when I eat dinner, I cannot see my food. So a lot of times that's why I do the filming So you don't have to look at these but crystal just busted me. I bought them and picked them out They didn't have no men's glasses in this. Yeah, store. these are these are good looking ones They got little palm trees on the side, but like right now I cannot see my food. It's all blurry right now It's a 10 out of a 10. So I'm gonna wear them Unfortunately, I just got busted. How's your dinner? Oh, it's superb. Folks, we know. Redneck. Redneck's hungry. Redneck. We haven't seen him in a while, poor thing. Listen, folks. We know this one's been all over the place, but we just wanted to film something different. A different style. You got to see us catch, clean, and cook a bullfrog and a turkey. You got to see us catching big catfish. But right now, you get to see us, like Jake always says, get the heck up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.